highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. Uh, how much does climate change affect an economist's job? Because only recently do I hear yes. uh, people in governance talking about climate yes. change all yes. over the world, not yes. just in India. Yes. No, I think if you had asked an economist, let's say 10 years back, mm. um, I don't think he would have you know, uh, uh, talked about the importance of climate change for the macro economy or the economy at, at large. Um, but today, I think, you know, it, it can pose an important macro risk as well. Because uh, it affects agriculture primarily? Like, it can uh, affect agriculture for sure, but can, it can also, you know, uh, um, through natural disasters, um, can create damage and thereby leave, you know, um, some of the vulnerable sections of society, you know, in quite... A, uh, a significant amount of distress. Um, and so, you know, building those safety nets um, for such people, I think that also becomes very important. Of course, apart from, you know, focusing on agriculture, but also even terms in terms of the use of energy, you know, the um, kind of energy that, uh, you know, you want to focus on um, for, your, for your growth, uh, that also becomes very important as well. I have a very morbid question I wish to ask you, but that's what we do on podcasts. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, there was these movies like uh, The Day After Tomorrow where they actually show a mass flooding, etc. We're seeing sort of versions of these natural disasters happening mm -hmm. all over the world constantly. Mm -hmm. If we continue the way we're continuing and when, if we don't talk enough about climate change mm -hmm. and if we, I think if enough policies are not created about climate change, yeah. probably the 2030s and the 2040s will be very catastrophic in terms of worldwide floods, etc. So as an economist... Say hypothetically, you're in that position where now you're dealing with a much smaller population. Mm -hmm. The morbidity of this question is that what if climate change causes a huge amount of death? Because that's how nature works. Yeah. Yeah. If if you abuse nature, nature will abuse you back. Yeah. And it probably is just like clean up yes. a lot of humanity. Yeah. Yeah. How does uh, the economics of that new world work? So, you know, it's a I would put down, uh, you know, put that down as a, a sort of collection of unknown unknowns. Mm. Um, and therefore, whatever I say here will be, you know, um, sort of speculative. If somebody goes and checks when that event happens 10 years later, I may be wrong. Um, uh, but with that caveat, um, I would say, you know, it depends on, you know, of course, it's, it's a very morbid, um, you know, sort of line of thinking. But um, within that, if, for instance, people who are, you know, who, who uh, whom, uh, we, we, let's say, lose in the workforce, if they're very skilled, you know, um, then I think the impact will actually be much greater um, than if they are actually, if they are, you know, not as skilled. I think it's a, the way this comes out is, it seems unfair. Maybe it, no. it it doesn't have the. It may seem a little cold blooded as well. And I'm sorry about. No, you it's know, a cold blooded uh, question. So <laughs> I have put you here, sir. Um, I should be apologizing. Yeah, but um, I don't feel like apologizing <laughs> because it's a podcast. Yeah, but I think um, over. So so the the silver lining, therefore, you know, um, to that is that if you can use technology to you know one be able to anticipate a lot of this um, and thereby also, you know, do prediction well, um, but not just predictions at the macro level, but localized, for instance, where is it that this, you know, disaster is going to possibly happen, move people, you know, come up with, when I say technology, I'm not, I don't mean only in terms of just tech tech, right? But, you know, in terms of the sort of the, 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 the response model, you know, being able to quickly move people, maybe a, maybe a, a million people within a day, right? Mm. Like that, that kind of technology as well, you know, to safe places. Um, and I think potential, ha you know, there is potential for such such sort of quote unquote models to be developed. Um, okay. And and if that happens, then we can certainly limit the damage. Um, so it would require, you know, us to be able to predict very well. So, you know, the, the sort of the, the, the models that we'll have to predict these will have to, you know, possibly use a lot of AI, because this is, we are talking about unknown unknowns, not just unknowns here. Um, so that we get the prediction in a localized manner saying, oh, you know, it is going to be, let's say, this particular five kilometer tract, you know, in, 
this particular district, uh, let's say in you know in in this particular state, uh, that's where the flooding is going to be so large, mm. and so move people there, or maybe in a town, you know, or in a we move move people. So the prediction and the and the response, you know, both of these are I think very important. Um, but suppose let's say you know, and worst case scenario, despite all this preparation, you know, on the on the prediction technology on the response uh, you know technology or response mechanisms if still you know let's say we end up losing a large chunk of humanity then again you know uh, using technology to, to quickly train people um, the, the, those that survive i think will also be important in being able to you know get over this um, so i i I hope I've been able to answer this question sympathetically, <laughs> but uh, yeah. you know, it, it is it is a morbid thought. Yeah, this is true for a zombie apocalypse as well, or any <laughs> any extremely morbid movie yes. scenario. This yeah. is how the government would react. Yeah, no, but, I think that's true. It, but it, but but it. I, I'm glad you're asking this because you know, um, it, it's it's always sort of good to be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. So these are playlists made especially for you. We've tailor-made learning experiences for you in the RS Clips.